Hey guys, so we've just arrived in Gloucester for Champions League England. Events are all set up. Event 1 is set up, which is the overhead medley. You can see back here, they've got the stones, which are part of the, the deadlift ladder. This contraption here is going to be the Viking walk. They're also doing a throw. And um, what's the other event? Sandbag toss. Sandbag. So five events for the guys to get through. Unfortunately, Pablo Cordiac has pulled out, but he's still here. But this is going to be an awesome competition. I think the fact that Pablo's pulled out has made it quite uh, an okay. exciting one. The sun is out. We're worried it might be raining, so it's going to be a great day. Crowd is starting to come in. Athletes are getting nervous around the back, and Liz will get lots of behind the scenes action. But I hope you guys enjoy it. So, George, first time in the UK, well, first time competing in the UK. Yeah. How are you feeling? I feel good. I have a good sleep and uh, eat good today, so. I've heard lots of good things about it. I know you had like a, you had a bit of a, an issue where you kind of just got started getting back into training. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people were really talking about you kind of working your way up. What kind of shape you in for this one? I feel good today, so I have no pains anymore, nothing, but just short time for uh, preparing with training. So I will do my best, so we will see today. Uh, what events are you looking forward to? I think the deadlift will be a good event for me. The sandbag will be the worst maybe event okay. today because I didn't train that maybe only two times. So Sometimes yeah. you never know. I never Anything know. can happen with that. You one. never know, so we will see. I look forward to watching, man. Best Thank you very good. much. Thank you, man. Thank you. Oh, oh, far right, here. Well done. Come <laughs> well on, let me just light you up. There you go. Oh, <laughs> Believe it or not, these two are in the same weight class. Good to see you. No, it's just me. Right, guys, Andrea from Italy. You must be like the strongest man ever from Italy. Uh, I mean, and the biggest as well. He's freaking huge. <laughs> but, um, yeah, first time in the UK for the Champions League. Yes. You've done a few Champions League now. Yes. Are you enjoying them? Uh, I absolutely love the Champions League. I love competing and it's a great circus. I'm so excited to be here in England. First time for me competing in the UK. Super excited for it. Last year we had a really big crowd, so hopefully with the weather being nice, it's going to be big again. You're going to play up to the crowd and show them what you're capable of? Yeah, I'm, I'm very proud to be here as an Italian. I think it's the first Italian to compete here in the UK in front of such a big crowd. And uh, yeah, let's, let's try to show everyone what Italians are capable of as well. So for, for people watching on here, what events should they be looking out for with, with you? What are uh, you looking forward to? I'm looking forward to the deadlift, uh, but even the pressing event should be okay for me, yeah. Good stuff. Yeah, A few people said deadlift so far, so I'm, I'm looking forward to sitting back and watching you guys. Right, right, Best of luck, okay? Thank you so much, Good thank man. you so much. I've loads of tears to heckle people. They <laughs> didn't look out. Uh, <laughs> Pablo, you will be referee this weekend now. Unofficial, yes. <laughs> yeah. Unofficial. <laughs> Just tell them they did yeah. shit when they come out. <laughs> uh, it's not a bit of a empty. How much is it? It's five. What's that? It's five kilos. Yeah. 
are you feeling for this this year? Because there's a couple of your favourite events in this, isn't there? It's the very good events with the throwing, the stones, yeah. a bit of pressing. Had a go on the Viking walk last year as well, so slight advantage there. Definitely. I'm just feeling no pressure on this one, I'm here to enjoy it, so I feel like I'm going to have a good performance, hopefully. But yeah. You feeling in good shape for it? I feel good. Yeah. I feel good. I felt good anyway, but now I felt the weight feeling better, feeling so even better. we'll see how it goes. Each and every one here is really good. Um, it's my first time competing against like a pro lineup. Kane Francis, Andrea and Benizzi, we got Shane Flowers, we got Osborne, who I literally see every day. So to me, it's like a dream come true. And it's a step towards my dreams, you know, to be uh, at Wall Street's bed one day or like Giants Life one day. So uh, it's like, yeah. Somebody wake me up, it's, it's unbelievable. Uh, I still can't believe this. We're really looking forward to seeing how you do this weekend as well. So. I'm so grateful and hey, I've been seeing you on TV every day, literally on YouTube. <laughs> and it's a pleasure to see you. Miss Shale, you're the best. Uh, you know what you're doing. Yeah! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce the third athlete of today. All the way from Ireland on his way back to the Strongman Champions League. There he is. 33,180 kilos, Sean O'Hagan! The second man I'd like to present you is coming off for his first time in SEL. Also from the UK, 25 years young, 136 kilo, Jack Osborne! Okay, the next man all the way coming from Estonia. 38 years old, 143 kilo, the big Erwin Dutz! <laughs> Next man coming up from the United States of America, 32 years young, 130 kilos, Tyler Cotter! Yeah. Yeah. Ah, the next very handsome man is coming from Poland, 48 years young, 48 years, 136 kilo, Sebastian Kurek! Oh, the next man coming in is for up the, we will call him always, the Squadra Azuri from Italy, the most handsome competitor down under. There he is, Andrea Invernizzi! Oh, the next man is the youngest one, 23 years young, 23 years young. Almost 130 kilos from Poland, living in Great Britain, David Podolski! Oh, wow. The next man coming from Holland, 25 years young, without a girl, without a girl. There he is, 130 kilos, the number three of Holland, the winner of uh, Portugal last year. Please welcome George Suleiman! Oh, and maybe the next man, the next man maybe will bring the gold home today. 150 kilos, 31 years young, from Scotland, Louis Jack! <laughs> but, 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 we have still stronger, the strongest man from last week in Portugal, the gladiator from Ghana, Evans Nana! <laughs> from England, 138 kilos, 31 years young, King Francis! 
his name stand, is, I'll you, tell you his you name. Stand up in but he's line. only 28 yeah. years young, one of the 32, one of the, the 32 kilos from the Ukraine, the strongest man of Europe, Pavlov Konyaka! <laughs> So I'm too ugly before the cameras, you know, that's, yeah, that's pity because I'm almost 70 years old and still ugly. But we have a very handsome microphone man over here. They call him the hair. Why? Well, you can see it. They call him the hair. Please welcome the one and only personality of Team Wilbert Brother. Please welcome Mr. Will Bennett. English is lousy, I know, I know when English is lousy, but there is one man who will tell you everything about the events, he will take some interviews with the boys and you can hear everything. So, please, welcome the rec world record holder now on the Dingy Stones, the former strongest man. Oh, we, know, we all know his wife. He's great, isn't he? He's the most important man today. Bring him big loss, there he is, Lauren Schoenheim! Oh! That's... That's my superhero! That's my superhero! Period! What a man to introduce me. Thank you very much, Ralph. So guys, thank you all for coming down today. We've got an amazing lineup of athletes. Very, very competitive comp this year. These guys are unbelievable. You guys recording? Are you okay? Okay, good. Yeah. Lots of support. We've got a few newbies at the Champions League this year, but an amazing lineup. Wish all the guys the best of luck. I want to quickly get Pavlo over for a quick chat. As obviously Pablo is Europe's strongest man for those that don't know. He was supposed to be competing today. Unfortunately, you've hurt your back, haven't you? Yeah, I uh, hurt my back in preparation for Strongman Champions League in Turk last week and unfortunately I can't compete today. But I'm glad I'm here. Uh, I could see this competition, so I'm glad to be here. How do you think the guys are going to do? Uh, this is tough lineup. Good athletes, very good athletes, very good event to see and to compete also. I wish uh, all the guys the best and no injuries. Good stuff, thank you for chatting. We'll get some more from you later on some of the events. Guys, Pablo Kordiaka, Europe's strongest man, unfortunately injured today. So we're going to be kicking off with event number one, which will be the overhead medley. The athletes are going to have to lift the 150 kilo log, move on to the axle, it's 140 kilos, a little bit less in weight but a bit more awkward. And then they move on to this dumbbell here, which is 105 kilos. That's like 16 and a half stone. They're going to have to lift it up to the shoulder and press it for as many reps as possible. Make sure you support everyone. It's going to be a big battle. They're all really nervous for this first event. Thank you all for coming, and we'll be back out in a second. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, interview. Shut up. Shut up. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Let's see. Lock. Little bit under, little bit under. Come on, David. David, David. On his way to the 140 action. Okay. Uh, yeah, good. David Padrulz, you can take the first one. Yeah! The first one, see. So, second one. Second one for uh, David. David. Come on, David. Yeah, just two. Five seconds anyway, okay. We have seen for uh, David Pogulski. Good start by David there. Huh? Yeah, good start. I think um, just the transition between the three implements is quite awkward for a lot of people. Go for different techniques for all three. Yeah. But it's not a bad start, considering Tyler Cotton couldn't get any on the dumbbell. Yeah. I think a lot of guys will struggle on it, but yeah, we'll see. Two is a solid start for David. To the axle. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 well done, boy, well done. 
Please welcome Shane Flowers! He's here to win today. Come on, Shane. What's that time from Scotland? Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's a good start. Um, obviously, I, I had a couple of dodgy wraps where maybe I, I could have got them and edged ahead a little bit more, but it's, it's a good start to the first event. Still got four more to make it up on him, we so. Have you done the Viking walk before? I had a go on it a few weeks ago, um, travelled up for a little session on it, um, but I'm, I'm not going to say I'm amazing on it. What did you think <laughs> it's, of it? It's um, <laughs> extremely awkward. Yeah. Yeah, it's like I'd have a good run and then a terrible run, then I wouldn't be able to pick it up at all. Then I'd have a really good run, so it's inconsistent. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hopefully with the crowd behind you. Yeah, you get an extra five percent from the crowd and that, don't you? So I'll just go flat out on it and see what I can do, even if I have to pick it up twenty times. Yeah. <laughs> I think four hundred, four ten. I think so. David, lovely start for you, well done. 100%, 100%. Lod said um, that, it, well, you know, no pressure or anything, but he was really excited to see yeah. you perform again. He said, I told you, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Yeah. No, I, need, I, I need my revenge from last year. But last year, I said to Lod in private after the competition, you remind me of a young Alexei Novikov. Yeah, <laughs> he, he, I had the haircut first, he copied me. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, we look forward to seeing how you're doing the rest of the con. I, I think it should be perfect. Literally, I think there's, there's no reason why I can't be winning. Yeah. Uh, yeah, what's the way? It's 2.05. 2.05. 2.20s and a 50. 90, 180. <laughs> Oh, yeah. We had an extra plate a minute ago. Oh, How did that fail? Oh, 205, yeah, 
It rained, let's say. A bit rain. Yeah, one event down. Two hours later. Stronger. <laughs> Sunny earlier. It was. It was I was glorious. all happy. I thought, oh, it might be a nice day. No. Nope. Lost the last Oh, yeah. I'd have my summer shorts on regardless, to be fair. <laughs> Strong man life, isn't it, Alex? Living in shorts. That's, literally, I wear this all year round. Shorts and t shirt. But today's the best because I shaved my arm, so less hairy. <laughs> Well, we had the strongest man of Holland a few weeks ago, and this man lifted the 360 as the only one. As the only one. But can he lift the 380 here? Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome from Holland, George Schumacher. Look at the video. George loves the deadlift. No straps needed on the first and easy round. 320 kilos. And the end of the straps needed. Easy work. Come on, Chaz, it's too far. Come on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, let's see this today, Tim. Ladies and gentlemen, George Saliba. Well done, George. Amazing effort there. And extremely fast through those first three. So the Champions League is just one big funnel. Yep, go. Shake the head, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, the gladiator of Ghana, Evan Snana! Come on, Come on, Evans. 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 Everett's on his way to the 340. Everett's on his way to the 340. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear yourself for the gladiator from Ghana. Lift the ball! Lift the ball! Come on in! Let's help him! The winner of SEL Portugal last week. That was a miracle, but now what can he do? The 380! Everett's down there! Lift the Evans, come here! Unbelievable, man. First man to lift that today. Not many people did that last year. This year is even heavier. How are you feeling? That, you, you enjoyed that one? Trust me, this is the best I worked on, and it's unbelievable. I keep surprising myself, and the best is yet to come. This is the home of Strongman, and I'm happy to be able to do this here. You guys are amazing! We love you guys at this time! Let's go, man! Make some noise! Come on, Evans! And tonight, at after party, he's also the king. Double overhand, no problem. Well done, Andrea. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the next competitor. Good stuff there from Jack Osborne. Thank you. Thank you. I love how you cannot have that coach. <laughs> how did that feel, buddy? Deadlift's not your strongest event, but good performance there. I saw you try that 380. would have been a yeah. huge PB at the end. Feeling good? Yeah, I went up a couple weeks ago to try this and three forty didn't go up, so get here. Good, good, good man, good start to competition, three events to go. Any other events that we should really look out for you on? Definitely Viking Walk. Happy that one. Done quite quick in training as well, so good to get first. Good man, we look forward to that guys. Jack Osborne! Jackie Baby! Good man. Love it. Your, your presenting goes out the window when Jack or any of your athletes... Ladies and gentlemen, what's happening here? 
I think like, maybe he was the king of the that day. Three. It's <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Shane Fuller! Like, move quicker between the first few. That's the one, that's the one. This is going up, guys. Come on, no straps once again. Ladies and gentlemen, we're an outside barrier. Oh, oh. Time, 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 time. Ladies and gentlemen, Big Ben, Shane Powers. Three, 16th, 14th. That was a bit of drama, Lottie. Yeah, I got a bit worried about him there. But um, he actually blitzed through the first three. Probably should have just taken his time a bit. He was so far ahead of everyone else in terms of time. Could have just got the straps on. And then when you could see him like start to hitch, he looked dangerous. That's kind of what I, sh I shot out there, just trying to um, yeah. make sure you get the bar in the right I think place. Shane Flowers went for the world record in You put speed. that effort in and then you drain. World record in speed, took the tree edge you without straps. A little bit risky, a little bit risky, but that's how it works. A bit more patient, use the straps. I think he would have smashed it. We've all made mistakes before. Evans now the winner of the deadlift. I didn't expect that. Where is this? Every time we see you compete, you're getting better. <laughs> Truth is, I surprised myself. Um, I'm looking forward to having a big two on deadlift from this, because um, Every event, I keep getting better and better, and uh, truth is, I don't know where my your true max. max is. Yeah, yeah. So I'm still finding. You look like you you look smart. You look like you were pacing yourself. You didn't try and take any risks. Yeah, yeah. You, you look like you kind of. Do you reckon doing a lot of these Champions Leagues now is giving you experience and you truth feel as confident? As I, am, I must give credit to Ivos and um, credit to the people around me like Podiaka. I speak a lot to these people and they give me tips. Ivos is always calm and very focused. You know, it's okay to fuck up sometimes in doing events, but then. The mental game shows everything. Composure and everything really counts, you know? I should see I fucked up my overhead, but then I knew I knew I had to do something on this. You need you have to, to forget it, move on. And on trust me, one. seeing you here, I wanted to impress as well. <laughs> Man, I am impressed with you. Unbelievable. Respect, Keep Respect. going, all right? Well done. Much, sir. Good sure. stuff. Let's go. Yeah! It was a good start on the overhead, but yeah. deadlift not going to plan there. I'm sure um, you, you kind of hoping to get that third one. I hope you're hoping. I, I was hoping the fourth one, but obviously it didn't happen. Um, first flew easily, but I, I guess something just didn't click right and then the third one didn't go. On to the next three events, my best event, so I can make up a lot of points, hopefully enough to get a podium. This next event is extremely good for you. Yes. And you've got good kind of experience yeah. now, the Viking walk. I, was, I could have been watching a lot of your videos on it because I had to do it in a comp and probably the best person to watch this thing. So I don't want to put pressure on him because no, 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 no. I managed to put on 60 kilo on my yoke this prep. So I reckon that 60 kilo should be... So you're feeling confident on this? 100%. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking stop! <laughs> Whoops. Wait. Oh, it does sting. Strip search. <laughs> Spread them. <coughs> That's good now. <laughs> right, cut. Next time, talk less in the meeting, yeah? <laughs> 
said I didn't listen in the meeting. Okay, we'll see you in 30 meters for Sebastian Kurek. Oh, and a little sorry. mistake, but okay, the next man, also from Poland, living in England, please welcome David Pakulski. Oh, look at this, look at this, totally different group, totally different group. I'm here to get Boom! 15 meters down for uh, David Pakulski. The winner of last year, and this is... Look at him, look at him, look at his grip. Pats on his shoulders. Tighten him on his shoulder, tighten him on his shoulder. By the legs, by the legs. I can see it on his way to 30 meters. 30 meters, 30 meters, hold him in the gun, hold him in the gun. So 35 seconds left, 35 seconds left for the maximum. On his way to 45 meters. Hold it down, keep it going. As the edges start to feel it now, they're going to hold it. But he's still moving. Come on, David. So 15 seconds left, 15 seconds left to finish the 45. 15 seconds left to finish the 45. Can you come to 45? 45 meters gone, 5 seconds left, 5 seconds left. Very good distance there. 3 full lengths. I do think that might be. I think guys can beat that. Yeah. He looks like he's. I don't know. He just, legs look tired. Yeah, he looks a little bit tired. I don't know what. Maybe, maybe got a small injury or something. Something just doesn't look right with him. But it's still a great distance. It's just always hard when you've got to go that early. The, the next guys watch it, and every comp these guys get better. So who knows? We'll see what the next ones can do. 15 meters. On the right to the 13 meters. 15 meters. On the right to the Nice, oh, moving well. Come on, good. Yes, Dug deep there, and that was really Very good deep. fighting. Yeah. He never looked comfortable, yeah. but he kept yeah. digging deep, and it's just one of those events that throws you all over the place. Second place, the will. Second just got place. second place, I think. Okay. So good, good result there for Shane. Yeah. It'll be impressive to see anyone match David. Yeah. Even David looked a little bit off. But they, he did. I think last time they did it as the first event. They did. This time, third the, event. They're the a little bit tired. Bit tired. Just done, done the deadlift. Deadlift. So, yeah, the guys are feeling it. These are good distances. Jack Osborne with 36 and 15. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Stop from, from Scotland, Louis Jack. 15, 17, 16. Oh, about 22 meters now. We're fighting for the 30 meters. <laughs> that was good, actually. Second one. Second one. at the end there. Good stuff by Louis. You look like he's falling for the last close five meters. And he's stuck in the second place. I think he might have just sneaked in front of Shane. 30 meters plus. I have to wait and get the official distance. I think they're taking a few feet off. Yeah. Just trying to see what the referees are saying. Did you beat? Did you beat Shane? I stand over the wood. 45 second place now. Kane Francis, 37, 16. And then we have Shane Clouser, 37. Two more competitors. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Pipped him. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Can I get in? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. But we have still one man left, and it's in every country where we come, he is the personal favourite of the ladies. Robin, come on, Robin. Please, really, there he is, the gladiator from Ghana. There he comes, Emmett Stana. Boom shakalaka. Oh, look at this, 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 look at this. Oh, 15 meters. Exciting yeah. until the end. Were you worried It'll be about exciting your until the end. Very worried. We were a bit the nervous then after that. Or did you think that would hold out? I mean, seeing what last year, what happened last year, and I knew that there's a lot of uh, good yoga on his last year. Um, I thought Jackson would do very well because I know he looks good, but you know, I mean, 
Anything that's not more than me, I'm happy with. You, I mean, undefeated on this event. Yeah. 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 Awesome, and also, man. you just done the deadlift as well. I think that I made mean, a big difference this year. Uh, I mean, I think I would have done a lot more, but you can see, because you saw by my hips, there was no stability left. Yeah. There's all leg power and. I think sometimes like people watching back home, they don't understand how the previous events can affect things sometimes. No, my core was shattered off. Yeah. Shattered, yeah. I need to make sure I get my flank. Well, man, well done. So that's heavier than the qualifier. Sandbags are heavier than at the qualifier this time. So it's only just four meters, but they're going 22 up to 30 kilos this time. So a little bit heavier, uh, which is good. These guys are strong. Getting tired though, so mistakes might happen. It's been quite a long day. It has been a really long day, long gaps between each event. And I know a lot of the guys are starting to get a bit stiff. Um, interesting. It's always one of those, like, there's guys that I know are good throwers, but anything can happen on this. They're just warming up. When you did it, it was to sit 26, wasn't it, the last one? Yeah, 26. Yeah. You're right, Pablo. <laughs> you want to compete now, yeah? yeah. He's, he's wanted to compete all day. He's been sat all sad out back. Till, till first <laughs> <laughs> no, he's like, stay out. <laughs> the fact isn't so bad. It doesn't take too much out of it. Yeah. Stay on one hand on me. They're just going back and forth now. Someone's going to get whacked by a sandbag. <laughs> It'd probably be me. <laughs> How do you feel about uh, Vout calling you the madman? What's that? How do you feel about Vout calling you the madman? Is that what he said? Yeah, he calls you the madman. Unbelievable. I'm very calm and level-headed. I don't, I don't agree with him at all. <laughs> Farthest thing from a madman. <laughs> Have you been enjoying your day today? Yeah, not as much as I wanted to, but... No, I know. Uh, the performance is a little bit down, but... Yeah. We'll blame it on my son. He's, he's a month old, so... Yeah. It's probably his fault. It's almost definitely his fault. The sun was also in my eyes. <laughs> so... <laughs> then rain. Yeah, it rained as well. I mean, the ground is slippery. Rained in your eyes. I have all my excuses in a, in a row. Excellent. Well, well before the day launches, just in case. <laughs> no, it is what it is. It's, it's okay. Okay, it's what I expected. I'm here, I'm having fun, I'm doing what I love, so not too bad of a day. Have you done many Champions League before? Is this your first? I think I've done like, I don't know how many I've done. I did Finland like two or three times. Oh, okay, you've done quite And then I did Serbia twice, and then I told myself, listen, please, get me to a country that's a little closer. <laughs> so here I am. It's a bit closer. Yeah, a little bit closer. Yeah, yeah. It's a good show, it's yeah. awesome. Yeah. Really good crowd, really good day. And the athletes, I think, is probably the most competitive I've seen yeah. as far as, you know, yeah, this is a great lineup. the level, yeah, it's pretty insane. Yeah. Even with having Pablo on the sidelines and, and Sean O'Hagan kind of like yeah. not performing at 100%. Still, still, very strong. Still. Managed to yeah. Some of these newer guys that I've never met are Oh, monster. they're incredible, yeah. How's your throwing? What's that? How's your throwing? Throwing? Yeah. I mean, historically, it's like one of my best events. Okay. But yeah, you don't want to. But let's not put too much. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Out Emphasis there, because it was when I was younger, I was feeling. No, I mean, badly, I'll edit that bit out. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Should we do a marker thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like probably the best was like me and Pablo head to head. Yeah. Like almost mirror image of each other. And if you're matching Pablo, you're probably good at throwing. So. I don't anymore. We'll see how it goes. It's been a good race between these two. Huge throw there by Louis Jack. Louis is flying with his. Oh, what's happening with Louis Jack? Look at oh, this. Oh, come on, Louis. Oh, oh. Louis Jack. Yeah. Oh, Shakalaka. And Evans is not far back. Oh, just missed at the 30. Come on. Yeah. Oh, what was the time great, there? Great, 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 great. That was good, wasn't it? Good Very hit. fast there. Yeah, both were good, but Louis was un unbelievable. It was great to see because um, the last couple of times we've seen him do this event, there's always been a mistake, but it is. Yeah, well, he, he knows how good he is, but he just hit it right that time. Yeah. No mistakes. Absolutely flew over. Evan's yeah. very good as well. Evans is really good. Yeah, unfortunately, he just missed that last one. Yeah. Can't do it again, but he's probably in second place at the moment. Mm, I'll have to check the times, yeah. but um, 
Yeah, that was really fast play. <laughs> you should never say never. We saw what happened to Brian Short well from yeah. his hand. But that, that was really hard to beat. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Still 30 seconds left, 30 seconds left. Don't yeah. over the bar. And yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a place on the stage of honor. Yeah, by both these guys. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Whoa, and the last one, the 30 kilos. Wow. Big shot on that Oh, Shane Flowers in second place, just pipped by um, Lewis, Jack. Lewis Jack. Yeah, I mean, we knew Lewis Jack's time was quick. Yeah. Shane gave it a good crack there. It was, it was a really good, fight. really good throw. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I think he's solidified himself to, to be in a strong position to win this competition. He's looked very solid on every event. Stones are the last event, guys, so he's in a good position. But, um, Although, Kane is the guy currently well, leading. Well, that's true. And David is in third place. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's still lots to fight for. Um, Kane, Kane's going to need a really good throw on this one. This, is, this is the decide. It's not his best. Time. No. It's not. But anything can happen. Absolutely. That's and why we love keep, the sport. Hey, him and Shane are training partners and he keeps pipping him on events. So oh, there you, go. you never know. He's just one of those guys that seems to perform when it matters. So, Good at digging deep. Yeah. Let's see what he can do. <laughs> And there is, there is that Kane Francis, that number three for Kane Francis. He's going well. And number four, just with number four, number four, number four. Who will take the lead? Number five, both of them. There he is. Oh, Kane Francis is still on the pitch. Come on, Kane, you need this. You didn't so fuck up. I oh, know, I fucking know. Fourth event in the funny and not messed up. <laughs> I'm happy, happy with that. Yeah, semi happy. <laughs> I would have liked to have won it. I've never been beaten on that event before. But very close. Dude, close. No, Louis was awesome. Yeah, mate, he, was, he smashed it. So I think if the best throwers in the world, you're not really going to get sub 15 yeah. on that. There's only so fast. You well, can throw you, just, bags. you didn't make a mistake, so it's no. hard to go much quicker. If they're maybe heavier or higher, but yeah, Lewis is fucking outstanding. He's really so good at that. Yeah. Um, I think that's closed the gap now. Yeah, well, Kane was a fair, he was a few points ahead. Five and a half points in the front. So that will have closed Close it right up. Yeah. So come, if it comes down. Stones. Yeah, actually, stay in one piece. I, I took a bit of a stumble on that 380 deadlift. I've been having patella issues anyway, so I put all the weight on that back leg, thinking I was going to fall off the platform. Yeah, um, I was a bit worried about Yeah, that. we were scared. <laughs> yeah, yeah, frustrating, but it is what it is. The whip just caught me. And then I was mixed grip and I was contemplating hitching, but I'm like, I don't want to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know, did you realise how much time you had? Because like you were so yeah. far ahead, you could have just got the straps on and still taken no, the I, I thought of that and then I, my, my mindset was I'll do the first, one, two, do the third, see how the grip feels and then just make the decision. And I think for a lot of people, because that middle two is just a small jump, yeah. but then it's a big jump again to that last one. Because you've got the big jump from the first to the second, then it's only 20 kilos on that third one and then it's a big jump to the last one. Which we trained, we trained on this four weeks ago. And um, I pulled that absolutely no issue. I know, but I didn't do the first three bars beforehand. But um, it was just that whip just catches you. And I didn't. What I didn't want to do is what I've done in the past. Is I do like even if it's a log ladder or a deadlift ladder, if you change something in between. Sure. I know straps is more reliable, but pulling mixed grip is a different feeling yeah, to pulling. Yeah, it feels different. And if I changed that and then messed up, I'd be. And it paid off for Paul Smith last year. So you sometimes you take a risk and it works. Sometimes it doesn't. No, I just keep, <laughs> keep messing up. But. Well, you say that you're in a good position. You've not really. You, I know you said you've messed up a bit, but if you look at the competition, you're in a great place. Yeah. So yeah. sometimes you just got to move on to that next one. And yeah. he's yeah. been very stressed. I told him you need to chill out. He man. does. You do. I'm I'm like, I'm I'm so I'll tell you now. Like you go to hundreds of comps and it will never be perfect. No. And sometimes you're like, events you do badly or normally you'll go better. Sometimes yeah. the events you do well don't do as well. So I had you fighting. I had no expectations coming into this though. You came here to win. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then I've also, like my sleep and stuff's been a bit messed up and that. So I didn't want to come in here and be stressed and be thinking I need to win, I need to do this and that. But you've been stressed. Yeah, we best, <laughs> we best let him go because I think we've got to do a TV interview. But oh, thanks sorry, a lot. mate. That's all right. <laughs> Lewis, the last time I saw this in person with you, we were talking earlier, weren't we? Yeah. Um, 
little boo boo, but no boo boos this time. No, no, no mistakes this time. I, I was a reasonably conservative run for me, believe it or not. It was, uh, there was definitely sub 15 there if I went flat out, but I tried to make no mistakes this time, so uh, it worked. Obviously, close for me and Shane, and then David's close, so we've got to look at the final points now, but it's going to be a, an exciting finish. And you must be feeling good going into these stones because you, you were just one of two people, and Ivers is an excellent stone lifter yeah. too, but no one else managed to finish the run last year. We've actually got the lighter run this time, yeah. so it's up to 180, so I expect a few of the boys to finish, so I think it's going to come down to time. and. Uh, Probably a close finish again, but hopefully I can get on top and yeah. make a podium. Half a weather, point. weather causing all sorts of issues. I know. <laughs> so it's pretty close to the top. Half a point between Shane and Kane. And um, there is Jack's only about a point and a half behind as well. So it's going to be an exciting finish. And number four for the I don't want to sleep, but it's okay. I had a lot of fun today. Actually. Good, good man. Yeah, it was a good comp. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> nice when it's finished. <laughs> yeah. uh, when you are low in the ranking, all you're thinking is, I uh, want to go home. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well done, mate. Good job, mate. Oh, good stuff. A bit of a rush. Good stuff, Thanks, man. Yeah, yeah, come on. Well done, mate. Go get cleaned up. Well done, mate. So, we love you, man. I'm still on? Yes. So listen to me. <laughs> Let's go. Right Hold the start. Let's go. Don't finish. Thank you. Just promise me one thing. No. Okay? Well, they're all close to the point. Yeah. Yeah. One and a half points between three of them. Five stones for Edwin Toots. 22-11. And we have five stones for Evans Nana in 23-42. managed to win that because I just Second. messed up every single event but well I was gonna say first strong man champions league first strong man champions league win yeah. and it seems the stressed out approach actually works for you so, the stressed out much. approach works for you I know but it's not enjoyable no because you feel like you're constantly chasing your yeah. own tail yeah do you know what no one's more proud of him today than I am anyway do you know what I mean so he's trying to make you cry <laughs> stop it <laughs> no like he beat me fair and square and I, I wouldn't even if you're looking at I wouldn't want anything handed to me I want to do it my way, do you know what I mean? So I've got another show next week, which I think is going to be good for me as well. So it's all to come yet. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
from Estonia, Erwin Dutz. From the United States of America, Tyler Cotter. From the UK, Jack Osborne. On number five with 40 points, the gladiator from Ghana, Emma Strada. <laughs> Scotland, there he is, Louis 